and now we're just going to work on doing some, uh, some miscellaneous things, trying to get this on film. Hopefully it'll be edited and um, you know, spliced together in, in, a, in a good, in a good uh, presentation. But right now we're trying to get some uh, trapping on there. We're not even sure this video is going to pick it up looking at the little, uh, the little uh, camera that is not going to monitor. So, all right, right now, as, uh, what we're going to work right now would be, would be a trapping drill, doing it uh, passively, and it's going to be a, a three-count trapping drill. This is kind of my, my you know, relaxed method here. So if he strikes the strike lead hand, I'm going to parry. I'm, I'm damning his arm, uh, trying to keep the barrier down, and strike again. Uh, as again, he puts it. I know I know I should be damning his body back, but for a little guy like myself, when I apply this realistically, I find that that doesn't work very well. I'm, I'm not going to move this body fellow anywhere from my experience. So as the question is, I try to remove the barrier and then just quickly counter with the counter strike. Once I deliver this strike, it acts as a distraction and hopefully uh, confuses this control center here for a while where it might allow me to go into a technique of some type. So uh, we won't be doing the takedown and going into techniques per se, but uh, that's just kind of my thinking on how my how my tapping becomes effective in, in defending myself. So if he's right lead, if he punches in, I'm going to parry, jam, strike, and that would be a right lead. I'm going to go through these kind of quickly. We're at the end of our class here. As he punches in the right hand again, now I'm coming to the inside. He's still a little slower, so I'm parry, I'm what I call jamming, and then I'm countering right here. If you were to you know, raise a hand up, then I'd have to worry about this, about this barrier. But right now, we're not going to worry about that. We're just keeping it simple with just a three count stopping drill. As his rear hand punches in for a cross, I can parry, jam, and strike here. Parry, jam, strike. And then uh, as that hand comes in again, parry, jam, strike. I guess the other thing to point out is that we just work with the, in work with the outside and the inside of right and left. So again, we are working with the outside and the inside of right and left. That's why some of the strikes are going to the inside, some are going to the outside. I'll go through it just one more time. So I'm going to go outside of the right hand. You, you punch me in. Oops, parry, jam, strike. Okay, punch him in again. Parry, jam, strike. That punch him in. Parry, jam, strike. That punch him in. Parry, jam, strike. Okay. Now Lance is going to do the same to me. So basically, we're here to right lead body posture of sorts. Uh, I deliver a strike him. Boom. Okay, very good. Outside trapping, now I'm doing the inside. And now I'm just going to try to do uh, a, a, a trapping drill, a three count trapping drill, actively, meaning we're going to both be, both be doing the drill. It's a real quarter drill, working on, on dexterity, uh, that, that type of thing. So for right lead, I'll, I'll start it off. I'm going to punch it, go to parry jam, and then there you go. Kind of go back and forth, kind of like a tight pace motion of the trapping. You know, we're going to relax and breathe and feel a little bit of feet. Nothing, nothing set up. We're just going to kind of react, react freely and see what, see what happens. 
and uh, we'll just move work out the basic punches, but we'll see, see what happens. So go ahead and get, uh, you know, how do we get? And just maybe deliver, deliver whatever kind of fact might be, might be realistic. You know, I don't know if I'm going to be, you know, expecting or not expecting. If you, if you come up to me and you be like, yeah, that's fine. You know, if this guy comes to me, he gets in the body stance, and he, he's telling me that he's about to fight me, so I'm just like going to stagger my body, or you might call it blading your body, and I'm going to be a little more ready to receive this attack. He sticks me off, and he's about to attack me. So, and this guy attacks me. Um, so I can hear, let's see what's going on here. It's like the other one right here. Very good. Hopefully I can, I can subdue him here. Uh, or, you know, injure him badly enough to uh, stop his attack or possibly even, even to do it at the point once I have him here. Uh, you know, maybe there's something I can do to, to get him, to get him like, or I can control him and wait, wait for the authorities or find the authority. I can take care of this guy. He's a bad guy. A brute. He's a scary, scary individual. He's a salty dog. So, all right. So, uh, uh, so, we go back and forth? So, we go back and forth. So, I'm going to receive it how you want to. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Because then it's kind of the season, relaxed, natural posture. Maybe he doesn't know this guy's going to attack him. Maybe I'm you know, approaching him. I'm mad about him taking a part in the spot or something. Or maybe he doesn't even have that before. So, I'm coming to him, delivering an attack. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 